there. Thanks for inviting us into your home to be a part of your Christmas Day celebrations. This edition of Jamaica Magazine will not only impart words of wisdom from our nation's leaders, but will also inspire you to be the best version of yourself, as we all play our part to make Jamaica the place of choice to live, work, raise families, do business, and of course, retire in paradise. See for yourself. beautiful in Jamaica. Everything usually be green and pretty. We have beautiful water. Temperature that is normal temperature. The water never cold. We've been into business for about 13 years. J-U-S-C, C-O-O-L. Just cool. It's spelled with three zero. We make three different types of pudding. We make potato, we make cornmeal, and we make toto. This is the cornmeal, okay? That's actually almost the last process. What he's gonna do now, he's gonna put the gel on top. Within no time, he has to take it off because the gel give it a nice taste. We have the people like Shelly and Fraser came here. We have, you know, you could name the biggest artists, Shabba Ranks, name them all. Being the man, they all come here and buy their food. This is what we grew up on. Now, when the people come to Jamaica, everybody, as soon as they land off the plane, this is where they come. They want to taste this pudding because it's bring them back to the old days. The long time days when they was kids growing up and they used to sit on the fire and watch their mama, their grandmother bake the pudding. We try not to change off our roots, we try to keep it that way. And not only that, we have a lot of love because we're all about love. The nativity story is one of hope, and it's one that many Jamaicans can identify with. We've had our fair share of challenges, but with determination and courage, we've always overcome. Hear more from Governor General Sir Patrick Allen. Greetings, my fellow Jamaicans at home and in the diaspora. The Christmas season is usually celebrated with the expectation that each one of us has an obligation to be actively engaged in promoting peace and goodwill in our speech and conduct. We are therefore expected to let both the beauty and duties of our life be seen in who we are and what we do. At the heart of our reflection this season is the need to build our lives on values which endure. It calls us to identify more fully with the God-given humanity within us, to renew and sustain our better selves as we go forward. At this time in our country and in the world, there is a need to create and sustain a kinder, gentler society in which we can celebrate a blend of individual uniqueness and common purpose. As Jamaicans, it is within our capacity to be the change we want to see. So despite whatever negativity, tragedies, and challenges we experienced during this year, there is still so much for which we can be thankful. We were spared any natural disasters, our country is steadily making progress in many different areas. We were encouraged to take greater responsibility for our health and wellness programs. The government and the security forces are working to combat crime and violence with the support of our citizens. On the global stage, we have seen this year, among others, 
our indefatigable Shelley Ann Fraser Price returning to her winning ways and in the process is mentoring our next generation of athletic stars along with their coaches and managers. And in a December to remember, Miss Tony Ann Singh placed the icing on the cake, lifting the spirit of all Jamaica by winning the Miss World Contest in London with beauty, grace, and poise. I thank every citizen who makes special efforts to bring joy to others, especially to those who are less privileged. We owe it to ourselves and succeeding generations to be the architects, builders, and protectors of our people. I invite my fellow Jamaicans to move beyond a ritualistic or overly sentimental approach to the season as we strive to establish our country on the firmest foundations. I hope the spirit of Christmas will move us to share even more than before, and we will enjoy the satisfaction that comes from giving. I believe that with determination in our hearts, we can light candles of hope and courage to sustain us even in the darkest of times. Lady Allen joins me in extending to each one of you our sincere wishes for a peaceful and happy holiday season. Today's launch of the website is a technological leap for the Legal Aid Council that will have a profound effect on the ordinary people of Jamaica who want to access critical information to get quality legal representation. In 2019, the island witnessed the establishment of more justice centers, more court cases were disposed of, and more technology was used to further the advancement of justice for the people. Tune in to Jamaica Magazine on Friday, January 10, 2020, when we'll have all those happenings and more coming out of the Ministry of Justice for 2019. The most honorable Andrew Holness also has much to say, with words tailored to ignite the gift of peace and love that characterizes the Christmas season. Here's our Prime Minister's message to you this Christmas. Merry Christmas to all at home and abroad. As Christians, we believe in the immaculate conception and birth, the life examples and teachings, and the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ to be the fundamental pillars of our faith. Christmas is the time reserved in our calendar to celebrate the birth of Christ, which happened during a time of great suffering and hardship some 2,000 years ago. It was long prophesied, that a great king would be born to liberate the people from bondage. However, Jesus and his message of personal liberation of the soul by loving God with all your heart and loving your neighbor as you love yourself was not the king or message that many expected. And indeed, many conspired against him. Today, the world still looks for the hope of liberation from the struggles we face and the message of Jesus' birth remains the same. We must love God and believe in him and we must love one another as we love ourselves. Simple yet profound guidance that the solution to our problems rests with our spirituality and humanity. The story of Jesus' birth does not seek to offer a scientific explanation of the solutions to our problems. Rather, it is a story of faith that God manifested in man and that man can know God and have a personal relationship with God. It is a story of family of Joseph and Mary, regardless of their own struggles and poverty, 
sticking together and caring for one another. It's the story of great fraternity. People from near and far, humble shepherds and distinguished wise men, saw the signs and journeyed to the lowly stables in which he was born to share the good news, peace on earth and goodwill to all. So against the backdrop of our own personal struggles and worries about paying our mortgage, our personal safety with the high level of violence in our society, the stress brought on by traffic and indiscipline on our roads, or the threat of disease and illness, let us take some time this season to reflect on the hope that Jesus' birth has given to the world. Let us start by renewing our personal faith in God and getting in touch with our spirituality. Indeed, this is the time that family members gather and rekindle the familial bonds. Let us express our faith and love through our family. That no matter the circumstances, wealth or poverty, sickness or health, we are going to stick together and care for each other. And as we rekindle these bonds in our families, let the light of hope, faith, and love emanate from our home to everyone in our community, rich or poor, young or old, able or disabled. As we celebrate the season, let us take the time to acknowledge and thank those who stand guard to keep us safe. Our essential services, air traffic controllers, doctors and nurses, I wish to specifically acknowledge and thank the men and women of the JCF and the JDF, who are even now deployed to keep the peace in various communities across Jamaica. It is a difficult task. However, we cannot give up. You are the last line of defense against those bent on destroying the peace. We can only observe the true meaning of the season in peace. We can only celebrate and be festive in peace. As we celebrate, some in churches and some at parties, remember to love your neighbor. If your neighbor is without, share. If your neighbor is alone and down, bring them cheer. And if your music is too loud, turn it down. This Christmas, I pray that you will find peace, that you will be surrounded by the love of family and the goodwill of community. Merry Christmas, Jamaica. Next, Leader of the Opposition, Dr. Peter Phillips, spreads the message of love and peace to every Jamaican's door. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. My fellow Jamaicans, on this blessed Christmas day, I warmly greet you as we reflect on our Savior, whose humble birth we celebrate today. 2019 has been a very challenging year for our Jamaican family, but we are thankful for the many blessings of life, health, family, friends, and strong communities that we enjoy. Christmas is always a special time of celebration for Jamaicans. It is the time of year when families and communities come together to share goodwill and celebrate not only the birth of Jesus, but the bonds of family and of friendships. It is also a time of giving 
as we focus on helping those in need, especially the most vulnerable among us. So many Jamaicans, businesses, churches, organizations and political representatives have held treats for the elderly, the indigent, and for our children. By spreading the Christmas cheer, we are showing love, affection, and care, and giving life to the message delivered by Jesus Christ so many centuries ago. For those who give of themselves to make life better for others, I thank you on behalf of a grateful nation. Even as we celebrate Christmas and its message of peace on earth and goodwill to all mankind, we cannot ignore that far too many Jamaicans are suffering because of crime, violence, economic hardships, and social inequalities. We hear the frustration and the anxiety and the concerns of so many Jamaicans. This Christmas, let us lighten the burdens on our hearts as best we can by focusing on the Christmas message of peace, love, and hope for humankind. And reach out to those around us in our neighborhoods and communities who are in need. Let us keep an eye on and open our hearts to those who have lost loved ones, who may find Christmas a difficult time filled with special memories. Let us also reach outside of our own circles to those who are alone and in need of a little cheer. As we welcome friends and families into our homes and especially embrace those visiting from overseas, let us also take time to rededicate ourselves to correcting wrongs and creating a Jamaica that works for all our people. This is our country and together we can make it better. This Christmas, let us also remember those who answer the call of duty and will not be able to spend time with their families and their friends. They are the unsung heroes and heroines who toil outside the glare of public recognition. We are particularly grateful to the members of the security forces who have been on the front line throughout the year risking their lives on our behalf. Our health workers have been particularly stressed trying to respond to the dengue epidemic in the face of rundown facilities. Our first responders, including members of the fire brigade and the other public workers caring for children in children's homes and the elderly in golden age and other homes. Let us reflect on the sacrifices that they make on our behalf and thank them sincerely. In all of this, we should never forget to thank the Almighty for the blessings that we have all received. There are the reminders every day of the bountiful gifts that this nation has received. Most recently, Miss World, Tony Ann Singh, lit the fire of patriotic pride among all of us as she portrayed the beauty, strength, and confidence of the young Jamaican woman. Our musicians like Coffee, Protégé, Omi, Third World, and numerous others continue to leave their indelible mark on the creative stage of the world. Our sporting heroes, led by Tajay Gale, the sensational long jumper, and the pocket rocket Shelley Ann Fraser Price, who took time off to become a mother, and then with preparation, hard work and determination, returned to the track and took the world by storm. We give thanks for all these national gifts and more, as Christmas is also a time of thanksgiving. It is also a time for us to renew our vision and our hopes of becoming better citizens and of building a successful Jamaica bolstered by our 
faith in the Almighty, and the confidence in ourselves as a people, given the tremendous achievements of our ancestors and the triumphs of our history. We welcome Jamaicans who have returned home to be with their loved ones at this time, to enjoy some sorrel, curry goat, gungo rice and peas, and other Jamaican delicacies. To our visitors who are vacationing away from the cold and enjoying our brilliant sunshine and savoring our delightful hospitality, we also wish for you a truly Jamaican Christmas. So, my fellow Jamaicans here at home and in the diaspora, I pray for your progress and your upliftment. I wish for you a happy and holy Christmas and hope that your holidays will be peaceful, joyous, and safe. May God bless you and may God bless Jamaica, land we love. Happy Christmas, Jamaica. December 25 traditionally signals the birth of a religious celebration for many, and it's also an opportunity to share with your loved ones and the less fortunate. Today, we're reflecting on some Christmas traditions that are uniquely Jamaican. After all, it is Christmas in Jamaica. Here goes. Number one, Grand Market. On Christmas Eve, vendors set up shops in the towns and they sell all their best goods, clothes, and food. There's family entertainment from speaker boxes and persons converge in the town square dressed in their pretty clothes for the festivities. Number two, Jankuno. This originated from our African heritage and is a street parade where characters dress in excessively scary costumes. As they parade the streets, children run to hide from these often provoking characters. Some of the characters are more famous than others, like Belly Woman, The Horse Head, The Devil, and Pitchy Patchy. Number three, Christmas dinner. Really, what's the day without food and family? Christmas Day is heavily focused on family, gathering around truly authentic Jamaican food. You know, like sorrel, fruit cake, gungu rice and peas, ham, curried goat, roast beef, all of that to celebrate the unity of family. And number four, tree lighting. In parish capitals across the island, Christmas tree lighting events are organized by the parish councils. Scores of people would gather in the town to see the decorated trees being lit. And of course, there's always music and food. Good times all around, right? Even as we participate in these and other traditions, we remind you to be mindful of your neighbors. Don't drink and drive. Don't disturb others with loud music. Be aware of your surroundings when going to the ATM or when shopping. And most important, be kind. May the peace of God be with you during this season and best wishes for a happy new year from all of us at JIS. Almighty God, creator and sustainer of life, we are humbled by your acts of kindness to us over the years. You have journeyed with us through the bitter years of slavery and have brought us the gift of our emancipation. We celebrate another act of your goodness. We have matured. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you jubilant praise and thanks for God. Gracious God, despite our shortcomings, 
we have much for which to give you thanks. You have been faithful to us in good times and in challenging times. We pause to give you thanks for all your expressions of love, O oh God. We celebrate and give thanks for the harmony that exists among us. Truly, we are living witnesses of what it means to be out of many, one people. We give you thanks for the infrastructural developments that have taken place over the years. We celebrate and give you thanks, O God, for the giftedness of our people, their kindness and creativity, their indomitable spirit that have resulted in excellence in all areas here at home and within the diaspora. O God, we truly love our country and we thank you for making us a special people admired by the world. We thank you for all the men and women and young people and children who continue to play their part to make their mark towards our ongoing development. Almighty God, as we move forward, we place Jamaica land we love into your care. Watch over us, enlarge our territory, allow the reign of your peace and justice among us. Establish your kingdom among us and help us to realize our full potential. We ask this in your high and exalted name. Amen. The show has ended, but I'm sure your celebrations will prolong far beyond this half hour period. The evening is still pretty young, right? But while you're at it, just visit the JIS website or YouTube channel, and don't forget to keep up with us on our Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages. From all of us here at JIS, have a Merry Christmas. I'm Theodore Henry, thanks for watching. Down in Jamaica, there's hot sunny weather, and people are warm and friendly all the time. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica. I